Here's today's real consumer question from a real consumer, and he's a funny guy. Bob writes, Dale, I seem to recall that there were some state or federal laws relating to companies sending monthly statements which require payments by a certain date. I think it was that they could not impose such fees if you didn't have at least 15 days or whatever days from the day of the receipt of their statement. Bob says, I help a woman with her finances, including her phone bills. It seems like AT&T purposefully doesn't give her enough days to pay her bill in a timely manner so that she ends up getting a late fee every month. We all know the communication company's modus operandi is derived from drug dealing. Hook them, then take advantage of them again and again. Bob says AT&T has a business plan that makes Tony Soprano look like a wimp. All right, Bob, we wanted to find out ourselves. Is AT&T a big bully like Tony Soprano? So we at Trustdale tried looking up any laws about this. We found that there are regulations for how many days a credit card company or other lenders must give you to pay a bill, but we didn't find one related to phones. So, since you are in Georgia, we contacted the state's Public Service Commission, since they regulate our phone landlines. The PSC points to a fair reading of a rule when it comes to a phone company disconnecting a customer, where it says it must be the 30th day from the date of the bill. But it's not too specific about payments, so we then reached out to AT&T for its policy. AT&T tells us, we are a big company and we comply with whatever the local laws are, if there are any. And they mail billing statements 21 days before a due date. Bob, our conclusion, we can't find any rules that AT&T is violating here, so we're not going to call them a bully in this matter. Perhaps your mail delivery is slow, so we hope you can try online billing to speed things up. Great question, Bob, and thanks for asking us.